good morning guys welcome back to my channel it's marina here and as always i'm excited to welcome you to another video if it's your first time here welcome my name is marina i make videos from saskatoon in canada where i share information that makes settling into life in canada easy for newcomers and foreign trained professionals okay if you like content like this please don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave today to the returning subscribers og1 welcome my people today is saturday guys and i realized that we haven't done grocery shopping together in a while so i thought why not let's go shopping together my people right now i'm at the car park of the store at superstore i'm just stopping to get a couple of things and i thought it'd be nice to bring you guys along on this journey how are you guys doing how's everybody doing hope you all are doing well hope you all are doing fine okay anyway just thought to come and check in officially start the vlog so let's go shopping you are God, there is no one else like you. Orgène, Ovierivé, you are great, there's no other God like you. no one else like you oh my god all that name all the every day you are great there's no other god like you you your name for you are God alone only who can do great and mighty things there's no other God like hi guys so grocery shopping from store one done done now uh, for this particular weekend I'm not going to be doing the multiple stores because I think I still have pretty much everything that i get from other stores so it's basically just going to be superstore only for today so i'm heading back home man you guys things have become so expensive seriously like i noticed the i noticed the changes with a few items the price went up by like a dollar here dollar 99 here but man at the end of the day all of these things add up i'm telling you the quantity of things that I bought today, I can remember when I used to buy that same quantity of stuff and I didn't used to go be over 200 $220, man, today for the same quantity, well, I won't say the same, some things were different, but I don't remember the last time that I spent $280 at once at Superstore and that's what I spent today. Anyway, consolation prize, they gave me free item. <laughs> So they have this thing they do where when you buy things over a certain threshold you get a free gift i'll show you guys the gift that i got it's something that i would need something that i i, I can't use that i would have bought myself so i'm very happy at least i got that i'll show you guys when we get home but man chai that money touched me <laughs> anyway thank god for provision i'm going to head home now and i'll catch you guys later on in the vlog okay see ya thank you mommy thank you Hi guys so i'm back home now i wanted to show you guys the free gift that i got from from the store okay so it's a three-piece bakeware let me try and open it okay so this is the first one and the second one and the biggest one Oh, this is so nice. Free, oh, Superstore gave me for blowing all your money. So at least this is consolation for the money I spent today. Oh, this is so, so nice. Yeah, I just thought to show you guys that. Okay, not to pay me again. <laughs> anyway, that's the consolation prize that I got for blowing so much money in Superstore. Um... I'm just going to spend some time now arranging the arranging the things that I got, putting them away, and then I'll clean my house. Mr. Eteng has been soaked in laundry. Like if you see the heap of laundry. <laughs> I don't envy you at all. Over there. I don't envy you at all. He's going downstairs to do laundry. Jeremy and Daphne have done the dishes before I came back. See eh? 
This thing is so sweet. When you have children, you can send a message. Before you come back, they have done it. I'm so happy. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to put these things away now and then clean my house and I'll talk to you guys later. Two hours later. Hi guys. Uh, Daphne, voice down please. <laughs> Jeremy and Daphne have not been fighting here since. Team Nutella and Team Peanut Butter. One person likes jam and Nutella, the other person likes peanut butter. So two of them have just been fighting each other. Daphne said jam is, uh, peanut butter is gross. Jeremy said Nutella is gross. The fight has just been hey. going, I've just been laughing here since. Hey. <laughs> what? Banana. <laughs> Daphne eats bread and banana and jam. Weird, weird child. It explains why she's weird. Anyway, uh, I've had a busy Saturday. Since I got back from the store, it's been one meeting to the other guys. I had a class call today. So this class that I'm taking this semester is in employee and labor relations. And for my final exam, starting next week, we are going to be having like a collective bargaining simulation. So we're actually going to be negotiating a collective agreement with another group in the class. My group represents management. We're going to now be bargaining against another group that represents the another group that represents the union, you guys. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of research to check what federal legislation, what provincial legislation is regarding the issues we're going to be bargaining about, like or more. This is not the real school. <laughs> you know, be smart. <laughs> the book that I've been reading, you know, be small. I've just been going through a lot of from one meeting to the other, some of them for, for school, others personal. So, yeah, Saturday has been a bit somehow. I had to go back to the store. I promised my children I was going to make shawarma for them. I got to the store, bought chicken breast for shawarma, and forgot to buy the wrap. Forgot to buy the wrap. When I came back, if you see the long, long faces I came to meet when they realized I forgot, so I had to go back to go and get it. So hopefully one of these days soon, one of these evenings after work, we can have shawarma. Look at what's going on now. Look at the story of my life. I'm editing a video that needs to go up tomorrow. By the time you guys are seeing this, the video will be live, but this is what I'm doing at this time. This is the story of my life. I'm cooking too. I just decided last minute this evening. Everybody has eaten this evening, but that's how me I used to cook. Sometimes I can just wake up at nine o'clock and say I want to cook soup. <laughs> that nobody will eat that day. I made ofada. Let me show you guys. So yeah, that's my father. It has combination of many things inside. I just carried all the small, small bits of meat and things inside my um, freezer and put it together and whipped that up. Hopefully it will come in handy sometime during the week. Anyway, I'm just going to finish editing this video now. We have been folding laundry. We have folded like one full batch. So when I get upstairs, I'm just going to put them away before we prepare for church tomorrow. That's basically what's going to happen for the rest of the evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome to another day in the vlog. Uh, great to have you here still. Today is Monday. I did not pick up the camera the whole of yesterday, Sunday. Uh, it was a bit of a mellow day for me and I was in absolutely no mood to, <laughs> to pick up the camera to say anything. So yesterday was the anniversary of my mother-in-law's passing. Uh, she passed away about six years ago. Yesterday was the remembrance and I woke up yesterday just thinking about her like Just thinking about how much different my life would have been how much different things would have been now if my mother-in-law were still alive um, She was retired at the point of her passing so she had um, She was a lot more flexible when it came to being available, right? For the times where I just needed somebody to step in, for the times where I needed that extra help, extra support, my mother-in-law was always ready to get up and just move and show up. You know, it was a bit different for my mom because my mom was working, right? So there was a little less flexibility with how much she could just up and leave. It had to be planned, she had to apply ahead of time and things like that. But my mother-in-law was a lot more available. And my mother-in-law was a... Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but... I miss her. I miss her a whole lot. Like, ha! 
I'm just thinking like my mother in law still alive. It's just to bring her here now, just be toying the world <laughs> and leave her with her grandchildren to bond, you know. But I really miss her. I miss I just I miss so much. I I woke up yesterday morning just thinking about her, like from the very first time I met her and how she treated me, how she accepted me. Uh she loved me like a daughter. I loved her like a mom. Uh, not like we did not have our differences we did but we found a way to love and respect each other regardless and i miss that i really miss that i cannot believe it's been six years my mother-in-law never forgot birthday she never forgot special events she never forgot anything you know so it was just a bit of a chill or uh, mellow day yesterday that's why i didn't um vlog throughout you know one day guys we're actually going to sit down and talk about the side of um, grief that nobody really opens up about the side of grief that we don't talk about that almost guilt that comes with oh it's been six years why are you still hurting i know a lot of people who are dealing with losses from years back but they can't open up about it because it seems like there's a timeline and if this time has passed you're not supposed to be hurting anymore but one day we're going to have that conversation just to talk about this and to say you know what nobody has a right to police another person's grieving process if it takes you 10 years to get over it you are allowed to hurt for 10 years you know so yeah one day we're going to talk about it but that's that's how my yesterday was and then later in the evening yesterday um my husband and i went out for i told you guys about the in one of my previous videos where we went out for that couple's retreat a number of you were asking about the um couple support group that my husband and i belong to i'm going to link that video up um, on the screen for you guys to go check out um, a lot of you were asking me about that support group okay so like i said it was called it is called hope encounters and this last weekend was a retreat a marriage retreat for couples so my husband and i went yesterday to go and volunteer to help um, with the closing event closing ceremony for that um, weekend retreat and guys it is an amazing experience like we've gone through that retreat where we were away for like an entire weekend just going through session after session dealing with very very important components of marriage and honestly somebody had told me i will water it down if i try to explain to you what the experience is like it is best experienced i think the next one is coming up in may of 2022 and i am going to recruit as many people as i know to attend that so if you're my friend and you're married and you're not in hope encounters just expect the message is coming <laughs> anyway so that's how yesterday evening was we went out um to go and help out with that that's basically how our sunday went uh today is monday i just took a break from work it's lunch break i'm reminding myself to take breaks like i don't know why i do this but i've been walking through lunch and it's not very nice so now i'm consciously trying when i get that reminder for lunch break to get up and walk away from my computer so that's what i'm doing anyway i'm not hungry i'm not hungry i just came up to take a snack guys this is what my snack is plantain chips i have tried different plantain chips in saskatoon and you guys this one that i'm eating now has to hands down be the best fresh straight from kai if you have not tested this plantain chips what are you even waiting for you see if you want the plug just leave a comment below and i'll link you okay because everybody needs to taste this everybody needs to taste this it is hands down the best plantain chips that i have had anyway i'm just going to um snack on this real quick i have 30 minutes to be on break and after that i'll go back to work and finish up i would most likely catch you guys um at the end of work today or later in the vlog i don't know but I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the vlog. Today is Thursday. It's a public holiday in Canada. It's Remembrance Day. It's just a day to honor the people who went to war and fought for Canada, for the people who were lost and for the people who are still alive. It's a day to pause, honor and remember them. Okay. So it's a holiday. There's no school. There's no work. Uh, we woke up not so long ago. The mister stepped out to get some bread. Uh, that we're going to use to make some food for breakfast this morning. Just wanted to address something real quick. Uh, somebody left me a comment on my channel. I saw I saw the comment this morning. I didn't notice when they left it. I saw the comment this morning, but basically the person was a bit condescending, uh, calling me out to say why am I not replying emails. Uh, guys, I have been very open with you guys the last couple of months. What my struggle with keeping up with the volume of emails that I've been receiving has been like. I've been open 
with you guys when my schedule changed. I told you guys that work has changed for me. The pace has changed. The volume of things I have to do have, the volume has changed. And with school, depending on the um, course that I'm doing, it becomes intense. You know, this semester particularly has been a struggle for me. And I opened up to you guys about it. During the summer holidays, we're on holiday for two months. So getting back into the study routine was a bit of a struggle for me. So this semester has been a lot, right? And I've been open about that just to let you guys know the volume of things I'm juggling. So, so to see somebody come at me with that level of entitlement to say, how, almost like a, how dare you not reply emails, you guys, I'm not intentionally ignoring the emails. I'm just at a position now where on everybody's advice, the advice is you need to prioritize yourself first. And that's what I'm doing. I'm no longer going to be able to juggle all of these things at my own expense. And I hope that you guys understand. I will get to the emails as soon as I possibly can. Right now I have over a hundred emails. It's going to take me a while to get through all of them. And as I'm getting through those ones, new emails are coming in. Let's not forget. So please guys, please. I ask you to be a little more patient with the emails. If it is urgent, you might want to consider doing some research or look for a licensed consultant that can provide that information. One thing I would advise though, some of the emails that have come in that I was able to take a quick breeze at are asking me questions in areas that I've already done videos on. Like if you're asking me questions like, uh, I want to come to Saskatoon, what's life like there? That's basically what my entire channel revolves around. So please look through my channel first to be sure that I have not addressed your area of concern before you send it to me as an email. I understand I have new subscribers who haven't checked old videos, but please, that's what I'm asking you to do. I will no longer be able to commit to the, those emails that don't have, um, where the questions are not clear. I'm asking you guys again to please be patient with me. I'm prioritizing myself so I don't burn out because I have to be sane to be able to respond to your emails. I want you guys to remember it that way. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs now. I can hear the door, which means my um, husband just got back. So we're going to go and try to fix breakfast. We had a snow dump, guys. It has started. Winter has come. <laughs> we had a snow dump. So at some point today, we're going to have to go and clean the walkways before they come and give us the gate. Anyway, I'll show you guys what my backyard looks like. We had a dump. It is still snowing now. Well, just light flurries, but yeah, I'll share that with you guys. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing fine. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later in the vlog. See ya. You guys, look. This is what our backyard looks like. See? See all my neighbors, backyards, everything covered in snow. It's happening. It is happening. A few moments later. Guys, I want to show you guys my breakfast. Sandwich. Hot chocolate. I already started drinking the hot chocolate. I remember I didn't show you guys. So, this is breakfast. And I'm watching some TV. Does anybody else do this? Like, the food is just sweeter when you're eating it in front of TV. <laughs> That way it takes me so much longer to finish finish eating. This is the only time I get to watch TV when I'm doing it like this. Like eating. Hey Missy. Say hello. hello. Anyway, this is the only time I can squeeze in some time for TV. So I'm just gonna enjoy maybe half an episode or an episode of the show that I'm watching right now. And I'll see you guys later. One eternity later good morning welcome to another day in the vlog today is saturday i was already editing this video for it to be ready to go out tomorrow and i realized that oh my god i did not properly end the vlog so this is me coming to officially end the vlog but before that i wanted to show you guys something real quick look at what i made for breakfast we we're going to have plantain and egg and i thought you know we can actually try to switch it up so it's not the same old way of just frying plantain and eggs on the side so i decided to do it this way fry the plantain separately pour the egg and put the plantain on top so it's like fritters it smells so good guys i just brought it out of the oven i launched my bakeway from superstore see it came in handy <laughs> anyway i just thought to show you guys to say if you want to try something different this can help it's just the same way you would have fried the egg but instead of frying it separately just put the plantain on top of the egg mix throw it in the oven 280 degrees for about 25 minutes and this is what came out anyway that's what um breakfast is going to be this morning and on that yummy note <laughs> i'm going to be signing out of the vlog thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please like share and don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to okay until i come your way in the next video it is marina saying thank you and have an awesome day bye guys